Well, here we are, guys. Another episode of Part Time to Professional. And we've got a bit of good news, to be honest. We've made a new sign in. We're still not, not much over the budget, just a bit. £500 a week over the wage budget. But we did get a new fella, Rerick Caetano, who won 2 1 in the game he first played. The only problem was he got injured first match. So, as we speak, we've got three injuries. Bradley Stevenson, Mazia Goya. Oh, no, suspension, sorry, for Stevenson. I forgot about that. Uh, Warwick Catano, injured straight away. He's out for, it was four weeks, but now nine days and three weeks. Between nine days and three weeks, hopefully it's just the nine days so we get to see him play. And then three to seven weeks still for, I can't pronounce that name, Kuzar. But we're looking at Chippenham and Maidstone today. Obviously, we got a 2 1 win at Welling. Or well, against Welling, sorry. We were home. Uh, Katano and Jamal Campbell Rice. So there was a missed penalty then that game as well by Rice. And then we move on to the 2 0 win at Hemel Hampstead. Victor Fundy started scoring. We're playing Robbie Simpson in a new, new role. We'll get to that in a second. And we've got. Obviously, Victor Fundy missing a penalty in that game too. So, it's interesting to say the least. But this is the new formation. The plan being, if we go ahead, Simpson drops back to CDM and Andy Church comes on. And Andy Church? Anthony Church comes on. Covering, but we can't do that when we got a, well, two centre mids that are off. We've not really got another, another player that can play centre mid. So... Robbie Simpson, worst case scenario, we'll whack Roger, Roger Johnson at the back there. Adrian Cascaval has had a transfer offer. Where is it? I couldn't pronounce the side that came in for him, but they've come in. Transfer, transfer status. There we go. Zaria Baiti. I don't know where they are. They're probably Moldovan, to tell you the truth. Yep, they're Moldovan. So he'd be a star man in the Moldovan Prem. Adrian Cascaval because he wants to leave. That's another four hundred pounds that's freed up and gets us out the red. It would mean we go a bit short on defenders, but Ozamuzi Oz can play centre mid. Um, uh, centre mid. Uh, Ozamuzi can play in that central position anyway. If worst comes to worst. So here we are at Chippenham. Just edging, edging that playoff space. But, you know, our two star players that we just bought are out. So it's all down to the original lads. Simpsons Church to Muldoon. Campbell Rice, come on. Victor Fundy, oh, he's hungry. He is so hungry. Since we gave him a new contract, he's been a new man. It's like he, he actually enjoys playing football now. It's not just another Sunday league game to him. Could do with a goal here though, we're a chipping him. Chipping them right, yeah, in the table side there, 30 points. Look at the dip in class from Hungerford to Hampton and Richmond. It's all these teams underperforming. Azamusi. I've also offered Pentney a new deal because he's earned it. There's quite a few players who are probably won't be able to match the salary for well, that's Robbie Simpson who's not really shown me too much anyway and he's just missed oh, Muldoon, Muldoon missed there JJ Wilson's made a lot of mistakes but and Cascaval come in I think he yeah left he can play left back but he's probably playing his last game now Adrian Cascaval oh no a mistake costing us Come on, Fundy. 
I don't want to have to bring Fennel on. Andy, oh, Andy Fennel, we've offered a new contract as well, and Chris Zabrowski is going to punish us now. Chris Zabrowski saved from Pentney. Ryan Bird scoring again for Slough Town there. Saved by Pentney. Jeremy Wise earned that. Campbell Rice has picked up a knock, and I've just made my third sub. Oh, no, I haven't. But I made my, my third sub then. As Isaac looks like he's going to have to come in. Can't have Campbell Rice injured as well. Now that's just, just a joke. All of our star players seem to be falling down with injury. Did say this week, this these two games were going to be a bit of a transfer, transfer th their, um, episode, but I don't know. Because I've, I've got to free up some funds first before I can think about bringing anyone in. And it, if anything, it's going to be, you know, your, your reserves players that are coming in, your extras. Mostly at fairly cheap sort of contracts I'm looking at. Unlucky boys, it just wasn't our day. A bit disappointing. Should be going out and dominating a team like Chippenham, but because it is what it is. Just really, oh, just, getting promoted this season would mean everything. Staying up would, would be another thing next season if we can stay up in the Vanarama National for a year. I don't care how we do it. I think next year if I go up, it's got our two to three weeks. If we go up, it's going to be a, a literally a sort of sit five at the back sort of thing and just sort of defend every game and try and counter. Counter attack is a, a formation I rarely, or a tactic I ever, rarely ever deploy because I like being that team that controls the possession and scores goals. But right, we've got Fennel on a new deal. Oh, this is just getting worse. It's not even much more money. I only offered him £20 extra. Cascaval was on his way. He's gone. Right, so Adrian Cascaval is completely gone. Right, Isaac's got an issue with that. You've not been playing well re recently, so you can, you can do one. Not been playing well, so uh, I don't know who he thinks he is. I need to free up funds and I don't think he's going anywhere because of his ridiculous demands for contracts. And Alex Osborne, we can get ready you. Akpabiri, don't want to get rid of you but I might have to. Don't want to cause too much unrest though. Kieran Lockney. Sort of stuck at who to get rid of. It's like a game of Jenga. Now we've got the obvious. Um, obvious in getting rid of Lee Wargan but I don't think he's gonna he's gonna leave Campbell Rice got a new deal as well because we needed to He's transfer listed now. We need to transfer Alex Osborne. He's listed right. So we're all sweet. We just need to get through to Mainstone. And then we've got this big gap here to do a few deals. Sorry to disappoint about the, the finances, but not really much I can do. Just trying to uh, balance the, the club figures and, and not put us in any, in any danger. Of going bankrupt because look at our eight thousand uh, 
that was minus 31,000 earlier. I don't know what, I don't know where that's come from. Robbie Simpson there with another player. I don't know if I can keep, he's going up. I don't know if I can keep him. But he's, he's doing a good job in that attacking midfield role. Alright, we'll have Campbell Rice coming off. We'll give Kuyar Ku a game. He's injured, probably not match fit, but <laughs> you know. If we give him half, half an hour, 45 minutes, he may come up trumps. Defendi there as well, 20 games, four goals. Uh, he's, he seems like he's starting to change. Obviously we've got Spillane and Johnson at the back. All about Omazuzi and Wilson. It's the fullbacks, Church and Muldoon. And then Ches Isaac takes the bench. So far, so good. Ten minutes in and no goals. Maidstone, another team we should be finishing here. Tom Wright knocks the ball in. Can't get anywhere with that, but it's going to go in again. Or is it? No, Spillane's just decided he wants to play at the back. What a knob. Oh, save from Pentney. Get nothing less from that fella. Uh, Gavin Hoyt, the old uh, Arsenal one. I believe it is. Yes, it is. Gavin Hoyt. Welcome. George Elacobi as well. No, how's he still playing? Anyway, two goals this season too. How are they paying his wage? Right, he's coming off now. He's had a little run out. Ches Isaac can fill in. Round of no down. The, the absence of Campbell Rice has just hit us. Let's go for an attacking, attacking sort of stance. We're dropping down the league like no one's business. We're lucky though that these teams have been sort of choking it. Because there's a massive gap between us and well, third, second, third. First, second, third, fourth and fifth. Massive gap. So we'll be lucky if we can scrape it through. <gasps> Come on, Victor Fundy. Oh, he's just not quick enough. Luke Pilling picks up the ball. What's he doing? Oh. As Moosey, come on, Victor Fundy. You know, oh, Victor Fundy, you know, you know what to do. Eighth goal of the season, fifth goal in the league. Victor Fundy. This can't be a counter attack. Got Roger Johnson in the middle. Get it out. Well done, Wilson. AJ Wilson picking up that ball there. Oh, right, that that that's just happened. Can't even fill the full bench. It's a good thing about players like Kieran and Loney, Lockney. Um, they can fill gaps at the back and, you know, whether it be centre back, right back. Especially at a club like this, you need players who are your utility, who can play in multiple positions.
Come on, it's just the goal we'll do. I want, I want to get out of this injury period. I want to uh, get out of January, get all my transfers done, and we'll, we'll have a late late push for the for the playoffs from there. It's got too many injuries recently. I can't deal with that. You know, getting a player in jeopardizing your wage budget only for them to uh, to get injured twice now. Just go forward a couple of days before the Billericay game because I think we'll, we'll have the Billericay game in there because it's quite detrimental to the progress of the season. Obviously, if we can uh, we can get this month right, then end of the season should be a breeze. Emil Hampstead have made a wall and offer right. He's in. He's 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 going out. Things are looking good. We just need Alex Osborne to go, and then we're looking quite pretty here. Could even bring one or two players in. called Rangers have made a war, war gun offer. See, I, I w wouldn't mind playing him, but he's just too old. And Pentney's just been quality this season. Can we get rid of anyone else? Oh, instantly, I, I, I just think Robbie Simpson, but... Again, he's, he's he's done okay. Not been the goal machine I was expecting him to be, but when's he ever been the goal machine? He does his job. I think he's better at cam than he is at uh, striker. Like, Wargan's got to be on his way now. He's got to be leaving. There's no way that he, he can't. There's no way he's not going to leave. Just all down to contract negotiations now. Hopefully he leaves. I just, I've had enough of him at the club. National League, Ockran gets the job done. And that's another problem. I need to bring in a, a reserve keeper. I might just sign someone from the youth. Well, that's what's going to have to happen. Bring in a youth player, have him as our backup keeper. You're not paying him anything. Some of these scouted players, Akeem Rose. He'd be quality. But again, he's not a goal scorer. Want someone who's gonna net net us twenty plus goals in this these sorts of leagues. Ooh. Jason Cowley. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with Fundy. I hope Fundy's uh, gotten into that goal-scoring sort of momentum. Just waiting for Wargan to leave. It's been days. We've been discussing his contracts for days. Had another postponed game there, Villa Ricky. And put back so many days. 
Probably halfway through January. I only played two games. At least our next game we'll be walking. Isn't the worst of fixtures. I know this episode has dragged because I'm doing the, the little the forwarding, but I, I just want to see if we can get get Vaughan off the books, and then hopefully next episode we can. Oh my God! What a knob! What a knob! Lee Vaughan has rejected the contract. He's not going anywhere, is he? Great. Really need this transfer to happen. Need him to leave. If not, we're gonna have to get rid of get rid of someone just to balance the books. Can't be doing this. The club can't be doing this. So that's making a little bit of money, but we've also lost thirty grand this season. I don't fancy getting deducted points if we uh if we need to be. I don't think that this Wolven deal is not going to happen, so I'm going to leave that there. Route to round it off, we've, we've had a quite a poor, poor episode again here. But like the last one, a draw and a loss, not, not what I'd intended, not what I set out to do. But it's happened, Fundy's got his goal though, and no goals in Chippenham game. Not I've really had too many, no, no. oh, I'd say that, we've had like five. I think that'll bring us to the next game. I, what I'll do is I'll play the Dorking game. And then we'll have Billerick in Bath. Just to to round off January. And then we'll move on from these three. We'll go to Concord in the end of February. Next two episodes. So thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe if you've liked. Dislike if you disliked it. All criticism and feedback is welcome. Have a great day. I'll catch you later.